flash missions claim one bighorn sheep. Okay. What's that? Well, that actually looks like a bighorn right there. You know what? Let's go into prone mode so that way we can uh, have a steadier shot. See where we can hit this in. Aim it a little bit higher. Oh man, that reminds me of Sniper Elite. That's sick. Oh, damn. And I just unlocked the Long Distance Hunter achievement. Yo, what up everyone? It's Safareth, and tonight I decided that we're going to be doing something new on the channel, and we're going to try out a different hunting game. In case you didn't see it on the screen there, we're going to be playing some hunting simulator tonight. I did a vote earlier asking what you guys wanted to see. This one was up there, so I decided to do hunting simulator 1, since there's really no story to it, and it'll make for some interesting content, I think. As a reminder, Call of the Wild is the main game on the channel right now, so this won't be replacing it. I just wanted to keep it fresh and do something a little different. As of the time I'm recording this, episode 5 of our Call of the Wild series will actually be out tomorrow, and if I can edit this quickly, then this will be out in the same week hopefully but we'll see. Now, I've only played this for a little bit when I bought it. When I say that, I mean like a couple of missions. I'll be honest, I didn't like this game when I first played it due to the crouch key permanently being mapped to left control and the graphics just looking awful. But thankfully, I figured it out. I managed to get crouch mapped to the C key finally and it turns out my game wasn't actually running in a proper 1080p resolution, which is why it looks so awful in the first place. I'll actually make a tutorial on how to do that sometime soon for you guys as I've seen on the Steam forums that a lot of people skipped out on the game due to the crouch key not being able to be remapped. I was originally going to start on Hunting Simulator later too, but it doesn't feel right starting on the sequel and playing the original later in my opinion, which is why I spent the whole day looking up the very little information that I could find on this game to try and fix it properly. So we're going to be starting a new game from scratch. I don't know if I'll do the missions when not recording to get them out of the way and do some free hunts instead, or if you guys want me to do a playthrough series on this game, but I'll let you guys decide in the comments down below though. Anywho, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Alright everybody, so starting off, we're gonna have to go with campaign in this one considering I haven't actually played this game since I first bought it and I only played it for about an hour, so I wiped my save data since I didn't know what was going on since I last played it and I figured it would be much better if we just started a new game and we just started it fresh. So we're gonna go into campaign here, and since here we're gonna have to select our difficulty, we're gonna actually go with hard mode since I read these options and it seems like hard mode is actually the best for me, and with further research, you don't get that triangle or that census triangle that they have usually. Uh, it's it's like a big triangle on your HUD. I don't really like having anything on my screen in the middle of it. I don't really even like crosshairs. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the crosshair to be removed in this game. I tried everything I could, but to no avail, it's still there. I did do some testing on that, but I didn't do any other testing on anything else. So I'm pretty much going into this game practically for the first time. So anyways, let's do hard mode. We're gonna have to select our character here. I actually don't know who we're gonna select. Uh, I'm thinking we're actually gonna go with Thomas Bayland, considering I have long hair, I like to wear beanies, and I also have a beard, so it's the closest to me. So yeah, we're gonna go with Thomas Bayland, and we're gonna start here. So no, I don't wanna play a tutorial, honestly. I just kinda wanna learn everything as we go along. So we're gonna go with the first one, Dat Nose Doe. And these two here are actually DLC weapons but I'm gonna be actually taking our Monte Carlo fluted. Beautiful looking weapon, by the way. And we're gonna be also taking the 243 bolt action right here. I also forgot to look at uh, what our objectives are, but we'll see that when we get there. We're also gonna take the five times binoculars and we're gonna start our mission. So yeah, we're gonna accept the loadout and we're just gonna load right into it. Let's do it. All right, everybody. So for our mission, it says that this hunt will either be your best friend or your worst enemy. It's quite dense here, which can play to your advantage, but it can make spotting animals a little bit trickier. Fortunately, mule deer are quite big and stand out, so at least you have something going for you. This is a renowned drinking spot for the mule deer, so check out the river or the lake. They're potentially the best spots. So, for our start time, it's going to be 10 o'clock in the morning, and our end time, it's going to be 1600 in the afternoon in the PM. So, in military time or the 24-hour clock, what that means is our end time is actually going to be at 4 o'clock in the afternoon in the PM, I should also say. So for objectives, uh, primary is gonna be claim one mule deer, and for a secondary objective, it's gonna be hit it from over 50 meters. Now I'm excited to play this because I spent all day trying to get everything set up and get my key bindings to be exactly how I want them, because that crouch button used to be permanently on left control. It wouldn't even change to anything, even if you went to go remap it, clicked on the button a million times, it would just stay at left control. And there was no fix on Google or even in the Steam forums that I could find. So I was finally actually able to find a fix for that. All right, so let's get right into it. So first off, I'm going to actually show you guys real quick. Actually, not controls, keybinds, my bad. 
So crouch slash prone is actually on C now. So before you weren't able to do that. So to anyone that plays this game and wants to enjoy it to its fullest extent by having that button rebound to what you would rather have it at besides left control, well, I got you covered. And if you're like me and steered clear of this game because of that issue, because you're so used to having that button on C or whatever it is that you're used to having your crouch on, well, just let me know if you wanna see the tutorial on how to do all this in the comments down below. Let me know, I got you covered, I can take care of that for you. I got you, don't worry, I can show you everything all right so let's get into it now okay so we're gonna start walking here i think i'm actually just gonna go down this way and follow this lake let's check our map here so yeah we're going down the south ways here so let's see if we can find anything is there anything here i'm wondering i'm not too sure i want to have a sip of coffee real quick i know that I am getting very thirsty. It's getting kind of cold here in Ontario again, so the air is quite dry and so is my room. Sort of these here. Some just average Canadian geese or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what they are. Are they some geese? Not seeing anything though. At least not yet. I really want to sprint, but I don't really know how that works as this isn't Call of the Wild. But I must say, this gun looks beautiful and these textures are amazing. And there is, what are those, like coyotes or something or wolves howling at me? Ow. Oh, it looks like there's some tracks here. Let's see here. What's this say? Mule deer, age three hours and direction southeast. They might be close. Looks like we're on their path at least. But they could also be quite far because that was three hours ago. So that would have been at seven o'clock in the morning. They were traveling from at that point. We started at ten. I almost want to... Wow, those prone animations. Damn. Whatever. It works. I think I'm gonna go up on this hilltop. That way I have the high ground basically, so that way I can see more. I wanna be able to see as much as I can out these ways with the binoculars. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna go on the rocky path. I'm gonna go on the grass path. Maybe I'll have way better luck there. All right, what's that? Oh, that's a crow. My favorite type of bird. I really wish this game, or just these type of hunting games in general, actually had a free look option. I feel like the free look option would just come in clutch. It would be so helpful and very necessary. So, we have a new objective. What does this say? Flash missions claim one bighorn sheep. Okay. What's that? Well, that actually looks like a bighorn right there. You know what? Let's go into prone mode so that way we can uh, have a steadier shot. See where we can hit this in. Aim it a little bit higher. Oh man, that reminds me of Sniper Elite. That's sick. Oh damn. And I just unlocked the Long Distance Hunter achievement. Okay, so it looks like most of the animals fled the area, but that's okay. We got that mission done. We just gotta cross this little river now. I wonder if we can walk through it. So this is most of the animals fled the area, so where all could they have went? We're gonna have to go here and place a marker. I'm gonna place a marker right there. How big is this map? So there might be stuff over here, so we might have to loop back around. It's 11 o'clock, so we've already went through an hour of our time here. All right, let's see if we can cross this. I'm hoping so. That was a really good shot. Damn. First shot of the freaking series was a one-shot drop immediately. That was sick. Pretty proud of that shot. Damn, I was worried I was going to be really bad, because this is technically my first time going into this game. Really want to sprint, but I am not going to give in to my temptations and just walk instead. Play the stealthy game. There it is, right there. Bighorn sheep, zero hours southeast. Yeah, that's right here. Beautiful. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's claim the animal. And it says here our score weight 86.398 kilograms. Vitals hit lungs. Our distance was 211.5 meters. Wow. So we got a total score of 549. That's awesome. Continue on that one. So we got that objective complete. Now we have got to find ourselves a muley. I really like the sounds in this game, if I'm being honest. The wind and everything. They did a really good job on it, in my opinion. I'm going to go to the end here and see if I can find any muleys, and if not, then I'm going to start walking that way. But yeah, I actually almost forgot. You can go into third person in this, too. Beautiful animations, though, in this game. Oh yeah, you can't zoom in or out with these binoculars, can you? 
Really wish you could toggle the binoculars. That would be really helpful. Wonder if there's a way I could do that. Find a config file or something like that. See if it has that option somewhere. What time is it here? 12 o'clock. 12.09. Okay, so we've got four more hours. That's a red fox. We don't need that. We need a muley. Where's the mule deers at? I wonder if they're over here. Not gonna lie, so far I'm actually enjoying this game. I'm really, really, really glad I gave it a second chance. I have no problem making this a series, if I'm being honest, but I will let you guys decide in the comments down below. But I'm actually having a really fun time with this game, I must say. Objectives claim one red fox. You know what? Let's do it. There's one over here, right? Where was it? Right there? Got it. Let's see what that did. Please, 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 please. One shot, one kill. I'm just gonna sprint it because we're starting to run out of time on this mission. Screw it. Oh, that's cool. The water goes on the screen at the top there. All right, where is it at? Right here. Where did we hit it? Got it from 98.3 meters. Vitals hit nine. Oh, I'm using the 243 on that one, so that actually wasn't bad at all then. Uh, total score six. Since we didn't hit a vital, we didn't really get anything, but hey, eh, at least I claimed it. Damn, I was convinced we hit a vital there, but couldn't really see too well. But most of the animals are fleeing the area, okay. Okay, I see. Just gonna take a nice little hike up here real quick. What time are we at here? 12.30? Don't have much time. About three and a half hours. Yeah, you can't jump in this game. We'll admit it's kind of uh, harder to spot things with this gun in the way taking up almost half of the screen. The graphics are really good though actually, in terms of the effects. And the first person models are amazing. I just wish you could be barehanded in this one. But when the gloves are wet, that looks really sick. So I actually don't mind it. But I wonder if there is a way to get the barehanded models. It is raining like crazy right now, I must say. So far, no muleys. So they were going southeast, so they must have had to turn back, right? Really wish I had a collar. 1323, so we've got about two and a half hours left on this mission. Where did those mule deers go? I wonder if they're deep in those woods over there. Okay, so there's another track finally. Wonder if they did head down this way. Five hours northwest. Yep, I am correct. Plus two hours. Yeah, we're getting closer. Okay, so yeah, we got quite a ways to go yet. We got less than two hours too, so better really find one of these. I actually walk along here so that way I can hopefully see more. Make it easier to spot because I got the high ground. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I'm going to go into this path here. Okay, less than an hour now. I'm just going to start running. I don't even care. I'm going to rush it. Honestly, would have just ran off anyways, right? Yeah, that was a mule deer right there. Holy shit, my character is fast. Man, your character runs so fast in this game. Holy crap. Those are big horns. Don't need those. That's a muley. There we go. Come on. I think we got it. Please. Nope, that was bad. One more. Should have aimed it a bit higher again, but... There we go. Two shots. How much time do we got? Got less than a half an hour. It's unfortunate that it took two shots, but I was in, like, such a rush. I'd have wanted no chance of losing this one on the first go. Where you go? Right here. There we are. Two shots, one to the neck, one to... Oh, okay, so they weren't actually bad shots. Sick. So our weight for this one was 87.206 kilograms. Vitals hit were the lungs, and we killed it at 137.7 meters. And we got a total score of 476 on this buck. We're gonna continue. Perfect, so we got uh, the primary, the secondary, and the bonuses completed. Zero penalties, so we did really good on that one. Uh, went in there till almost the entire time and our total score is 876. So that is really good in my opinion. 
I don't know much about this game, so. And we unlocked a new item here. We unlocked the 22 semi-automatic rifle. That's probably gonna come in handy. Perfect. So, we just got our first mission done. Heck yeah. I don't know, should we do a second one quick? Try to do these ones first and then see what's up. All right. Well, we're gonna have a quick intermission and then we're gonna continue on and do the next one right after the break. So you guys should probably just enjoy the break. Just a friendly reminder, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you see, you can always subscribe at any moment. It's free. And also hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload something. I also have an Instagram, at Safrith. I post on there pretty frequently, so if you guys want even more content, feel free to check that out and go drop a follow. Anyways, back to tonight's feature presentation. Alright guys, so we are back, and I actually decided that I want to go and check out our Hunter's Lodge first, because I want to see what that's all about. I'm not sure if it's a big important thing of the game or not, but let's see here. Oh, that's our first one. We have an animal list here. Okay, so... it's pretty cool, we got a red fox. Brutus, what's a Brutus? Titus? Oh, those must be legendaries. Nine lives. Yeah, so there must be legendaries. Canada Goose. That's awesome. Okay, cool. So we're leaving that. We're going to go back into that next mission real quick. Have you any wool? All right, let's see. Accept this loadout. All right, everybody. We are on Have You Any Wool? So as for the description, I've already read this previously. So if you guys want to read it, you can just pause the video and read it real quick. But our start time is going to be at 15 o'clock p.m. or 1500 and our end time is at 22. So our objectives for primary, it's going to be claim one bighorn sheep and our secondary is hit it in the heart. So we're going to continue. Now, first things first, we're going to actually take a look. Where did we start or we're all the way up here on the north side. So I want to actually try to go down through this way. I want to check this place out. So I'm actually going to put a marker on that and we're just going to go in that direction there because I want to check out that watchtower and see if I can get something from the hunting stand. I've never actually been in a hunting stand in this game, so that's going to be interesting. Really want to run, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea. And I think instead of using my binoculars, I'm just going to actually just use my scope. I did remap my binoculars button from E to one of my mouse buttons but or my side mouse buttons i should say but it's all good we're not going to worry about it too much how long ago is this two hours southeast two hours south actually am i able to see oh wow i am so there is a little okay i didn't know that so we can track it from here well they do like to climb actually so they could be up on this rock here even i'm hoping so i'm actually going to start crouching while i come up and i'm going to go through the grass opposed to the rock make less noise that way Take a quick peek behind us to see if we're missing anything or not. Not looking like it, though. I really wish we had the free look option in this game. That'd be sick. Every hunting game should have it, in my opinion. I'm going to wait till we actually uh, approach this rock up here. Very tip. I'm going to lay down, too, so we don't make any noise. So, on the map, how close are we? Uh, we could be closer, but that's not too bad. There's one right there. That's a female, though. And then there's a male. I'm gonna lay down. So they're in front of us. We've already found them. I wanna get that male though. I wonder if it ran away. We got a creepy crawl it. Really hoping we can get a clean shot. With a feeling they might have left. Nope. There's one right there. It's running off. Damn it. Okay, right, so there's that one right there. I'm just gonna keep watching him. See how far he goes. That's quite the distance. Okay, so it's starting to walk over there now. I think it's coming right back, actually. So we have a chance. So they go quite a ways. Can't wait to unlock a rangefinder. Want to get a little bit closer and then shoot it right in the heart, hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna wait till it actually uh, crosses upwards. In the meantime, I'm going to lay down, watch it. Okay, I'll be walking up so I can get a better angle on it. I'm going to go down a little bit, wait for it to pop up. Yep, it's coming up. Perfect. Look it right in front of us here. Hopefully it's a hard shot. Looks like it. God, I love that reload animation. Let's just sprint towards it here. Had to be patient on that one. Hopefully this is it. 
Ooh, right in the lungs, wasn't it? But hey, we did complete the mission at least, so that's pretty good. Maybe we'll go back later on and get the optional. I'm not sure if that's even required, if that even matters, but we did get this. Now, we didn't hit the heart, and we only got a total score of 425, but honestly, we made it in about eight minutes, so I think, I think we can do another one now. All right, so let's go to Midwest Subalpine. I don't think this one unlocked us anything, but that's okay. All right, so it looks like our next one's going to be the brush. So let's check that out. Our primary weapon. Let's see here what we can get. Yeah, I kind of want a new, a new weapon. Let's go with the XPR composite for this one. Actually, no, no, no. We're going to go with that anyways, but then we're going to go with the XPR composite as our backup. Perfect. We haven't unlocked anything yet. Nope. That's all right, though. We might unlock something after this one. All right, let's start the mission. Except... All right, everybody. So we are on the new mission. So the description, I've already read this one. So once again, if you guys want to read it, then just pause the video and read it. Anyways, our start time is going to be 1600 in the PM and our end time is going to be 2200 PM. And we only have one objective on this one and it's claim one red fox. So let's do it. First things first, where did I spawn here? Actually, right near a watchtower. That's awesome. So let's uh, put that right there. We also got to claim one cotton tail. Fortunately, I don't have a weapon for that, so I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, damn. I just noticed that we're wearing another outfit. Completely different outfit than what we were wearing before. So that must mean that it depends on the mission for your outfit. That's pretty cool. We got sleeves and everything now. Look at that. We're all warm and stuff. Uh, so far, nothing over there. Oh, it's because I put the two colors on. That's sick. But it looks like we're close to some coyotes. Or not coyotes, some red foxes. Caught until rabbit zero hours. Man, we gotta claim a lot of stuff now. It looks like we're pretty much at that watchtower now. Alright, let's take a look. That's sketchy. Just launches you in there. Wait, what was that? Found one. I think I found a fox. Male. Booyah. Barely see where I'm shooting though. Take another look. Yeah, I need it to be going down here so that I can shoot it better. We're only four and a half minutes into the mission at this point. I feel like I should try it. I'm gonna wait actually. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till it gets to the patch of water there, the river. see here one shot oh yeah one shot I think that was in the neck let's leave the shelter I'm gonna go sprint over get that thumbnail image pretty much there yeah it's so dark with this thing in the way flame animal oh there it is vitals hit heart stomach lungs oh damn so I hit I hit the heart that was a really good shot then and we got a total score of 870 on that and we got it at 114.1 meters weight was 4.355 kg that's not bad at all all right that's another one down perfect we might be able to do one more mission real quick let's see if we actually unlocked anything first nope guess not that was our first heart shot though so that was pretty cool early thanksgiving and we got to claim one turkey yeah, we can do that. All right, perfect. Let's do this one. And for our primary weapon, what do I want here? All right, let's do the 22 and then our sidearm. It's going to be the Monte Carlo. Actually, no, we're going to do Monte Carlo always. And then <laughs> we're going to do the 22 semi-automatic for now. All right. Ah, come on. Stop it. 22 semi-automatic. All right, perfect. And we're going to start the mission and accept it. All right. So we are now on an early Thanksgiving. Uh, I'll let you guys read the description real quick. You guys can just pause the video and here we go. So our start time is at eight o'clock in the morning and our end time is at four o'clock in the afternoon. So 1600 PM and we only have one objective and our primary objective is claim one turkey. All right, let's get right into it and try to get this one done quick. So first off, where do we spawn? We spawn around here. I want to try and go up here, actually. I want to see if we can find anything up there. I'm going to make our way down. Actually, there's a track right here. Going that way? Okay. 
That was three hours ago. Three hours. And so it does actually highlight their footprints. I just noticed that. I think it was last mission, so... That's pretty cool, though. It's a nice touch that they have. It's not, like, exploding with light. It's just subtle. I like it. More tracks. So if we keep following these tracks and trying to stalk them, we'll be able to eventually find them. Where is our turkeys? One hour ago. So we're getting really close. I think I might start crouching now. Not seeing anything yet. Wait, what's that? Oh no, that was a tree branch. Never mind. It was just blowing in the wind. So far, I haven't found anything. What's that? Turkey. We'll go with this one. Oh, there's more. I want the biggest one, 7.9. I want you. I want your 7.9. There we go. Let's see. Is it a good shot? Probably. At least we found one. That's a cool reload animation. Claim one cottontail rabbit. I don't think that's happening. Give me that thumbnail. There we go. So we're going to claim the animal. I hit it in the lungs at 118.1 meters and the weight on it was 7.897 kilograms. And we're going to get a total score of 377. So that's not too bad. So we completed that mission. And... Oh, look at that. We just actually unlocked the flashlight. That's awesome. So that one only took about six minutes, roughly. So let's go back. Let's see here. Maybe we can do just like a rabbit, but bigger. Uh, yeah. Yeah, why not? And claim one jackrabbit hair. Start time at 9.30 in the morning and end time 16.30 in the afternoon. And so that would be 4.30 in the afternoon is when it ends. So we'll go in with the same loadout again. All right, everybody. We are on the mission, just like a rabbit, but bigger. As for the description, I'll let you guys pause the video and read that if you want. So our start time is going to be at 9.30 in the morning and our end time is going to be at 4.30 in the afternoon, which is 16.30 p.m. in military time and we only have one objective and it's a primary objective and it's claim one jackrabbit hair so let's get right into it so right in front of us there's actually a track where do we start here we started down near the bottom so we're gonna just kind of work our way up honestly i think i'm gonna go around this way though the feeling they're just gonna be going around that way so yep that was correct it's this here Three hours southwest. So we're going in the right direction. That was three hours ago. Should be close then. I'm going to get on my other rifle. There's another track. Two hours west. Oh, I just heard something. Two hours. We're getting closer. So we got to keep our gun pointed downwards. Otherwise, it's too dark when you look up. That kind of sucks. So far, nothing. Caw, caw. Where's those hairs at? No little bunnies? That's a big horn. Where's the hairs at? There it is. Two hours northwest. Just a bunch of mules too, just vibing out. Well now they're gonna be running away, but worth it. They said screw and just ran half of this. Two hours southeast. Most the animals are fleeing the area. Alright. Probably from my running. Jackrabbit hair right there. Let's see, we got it. I think so. I'm gonna keep looking down so I can actually see what's going on here. And where do we hit this thing? Right up here, isn't it? Right here. None. Okay, so score. The weight on this one is 2.167 uh, kilograms and we got no vitals hit. I think we shot it in the leg and we hit it from 116.9 meters away for a total score of 120. All right, so we got the primary. We didn't get any secondary or anything like that. So we're gonna continue and we can now go to uh, Chiawan Desert. That's awesome. It only took us like about 10 minutes to get. I just ran through most of it. 
Well, it looks like we're at the end of the video. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us and viewing tonight's feature presentation. Don't forget to leave a like if you made it this far. Maybe hit that subscribe button if you want to see more upcoming content. You know it's free and helps the channel grow tremendously. I'm enjoying this game enough that I want to make a series on this game, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Would you like to see more of these? If so, then I guess come and join us next week to see the rest of the Midwest subalpine missions get completed. I will definitely be recording and editing the next episode as soon as our next Call of the Wild episode is done. I hope you all enjoyed it as it took forever to put together. I know I enjoyed putting it together. For those of you wondering what the song is right now, I'll leave a link to the artist that made all the music in this video down in the description below. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I hate to end our session here, but it's late, I'm tired, and I have to kick you out. This was Safrith, and bye bye for now. Let the video end. Now.